As of tonight, almost 32 inches of rain have fallen at KCI since the start of the year. That makes the first half of 2019 the wettest start to a year in all of Kansas City history. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is joining us live now from Indian Creek. Andres, what are things like out there? At this point last night, the water levels were rising here at Indian Creek. The storms that played a role left a lot of folks cleaning up today. All over the metro, evidence of the heavy rainfall from overflowing manhole covers at Blue Parkway in Elmwood in Kansas City. I would tell anybody who would insist on having a bedroom downstairs is elevate everything to flooded basements in Sugar Creek because of the rain coming as fast as it did and as hard as it did. Uh, there was water in his room, which is downstairs. Kim Schenkel showed 41 Action News. There's places where there's obviously been water. How much damage it did to her roommate's bedroom. So much water you can wring it out from the sheets. I have more than a glimmer of hope that I might be able to salvage something out of this. Over the past year, Schenkel has developed a good sense on when to expect this. Whenever you have flooding on 24 Highway, you can pretty much take it to the bank that when you come down here to do laundry, there's going to be some places where the water is at the very least trickling. She's referring to the area near Northern Boulevard at 41 Action News has reported on time and time again. Whenever there's high water, it floods Fairmount Liquors. Just last month, we told you about its owner, Thelma Jordan, who's suing a number of entities, including the city of Sugar Creek, for not properly fixing a broken culvert underneath the road. There's something obviously wrong. It needs to be addressed. The case is set to go to trial fall of 2020. In the meantime, as Mother Nature helps Kansas City rewrite the record books, Schenkel says preparation is key. The most organized of people will find themselves really challenged by this sort of thing. <laughs> And because the ground is so saturated, it doesn't take much, about half an inch for an area to see flash flooding. Reporting live tonight in South Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.